The NASDAQ OMX Group announced that it has selected Bondesk to provide real-time pricing data to support the newly launched options on U.S. Treasuries traded on the NASDAQ OMX Philex Exchange. I'm with Steve Shaw of Bondesk to get more information on the new product. Congratulations. Tell us a little bit about Bondesk. Great. So thanks, Jill. Thanks for having me. So Bondesk is the number one retail trading platform in the United States. We cover corporate bonds, treasuries, agencies, CDs, and muni bonds. And in fact, when you look at corporates and munis, one out of every seven corporate and muni trades that takes place, takes place on Bondesk. We have hundreds of thousands of different users who, who use the platform. We have about 105,000 financial advisors. We have 175 broker dealers who make markets on the system and millions of different individual investors who interact with the system to search for bonds and execute trades. And what are you going to do for NASDAQ? So what we're doing is we're providing the underlying market data for the Philex Treasury Options Platform. So we have about 15 treasury broker dealers who send in live and executable markets and we're sending those markets to NASDAQ so that it can open the options market, so that it can create, calculate settlement value, so it can monitor the market and we're going to be providing that on a real-time basis. Today. And explain to us how the institutional and retail investor can use the new product. Right, so, so one of the most interesting things is that you are able to address some of the current concerns in the treasury market. So people are, are, are concerned about rates going up. And so if you're concerned about rates going up, there are these treasury options where you can buy puts and, and address that concern. Some folks are concerned that yields are too low, but if you write options contracts, you can enhance your yield significantly. So mm -hmm. across both retail and institutional investors, it's going to be a very compelling product. So explain for them. to us why you can't just use the TLT or TBT, the treasury ETFs. Right, so these are, these are very specific instruments for these specific bonds. So what we're doing is, this is just for the 10-year and the 30-year on the run, the most actively traded instruments in the world. And so if you know, these, these securities are held by institutional buy-set accounts, they're held by individual investors, and it just enables you to focus on the specific instrument better than you would be if you were doing something well, in, in a broader Well, I think it's base. great for the institutional portfolio manager because they can only trade the underlying. They wouldn't even be able to use the ETF, so now they have the opportunity to, again, lever up a bit more or hedge their actual positions that they have on. Right, and one of the great things about our working with, with NASDAQ is that on Bondes, you can trade these, these underlying treasuries in virtually any size. So if you're a retail investor and you're only going to trade in, say, 10,000 or 50,000, you can do that on Bond Desk. If you're an institutional investor and trading in larger sizes, you can do that as well. Finally, let's finish it up with what you're seeing in terms of inflows and outflows in the treasury market and actually across all asset classes because a big topic of conversation right now is this market just goes up, 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 and up, and there's some talk of rotating out of bonds, going into equities. What are you seeing? Right, so when you look at our volumes over the last several years, you saw a very big uptick mm -hmm. in 2008 in terms of treasury volumes that you would see. And then what's happened since then, as, as investors have chased yield, they've, they've rotated a little bit out of treasuries. There have been more in corporate bonds and municipal bonds. And I'd say since about 2010, volumes have been relatively flat, but you've seen a change in what folks have, have been investing in. So more in high yield, more in higher yielding municipal bonds, less in the rates products. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Great, thank you.